What's going everybody? My name's Chris and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Sun! Last time we made it to a mill and I was gonna go inside this house where Mia is supposedly supposed to be. I- oops, I went the wrong way. Actually, that's okay. Um, I missed something last time and let's go fix that. If we go back inside the weapon shop and we check this bell right over there. Oh, did I not miss it? Oh, there we go. Isaac got a sleep bomb. Yay! Very useless item, but as I promised, I was gonna get everything hidden in the villages, even if it's absolute garbage. Also, look, you could push people. That's hilarious. That's a hilarious way to get out. I think you can only push them so far, though. I think once you get to a certain point, it stops letting you push them, or they just walk all the way like that. Stop pushing! Yeah, I can't push them anymore. <laughs> There's certain boundaries that are allowed to wander in. Here we go. How are you feeling? <laughs> Death noises. He's been coughing for quite a while now. You'll feel better soon. You'll feel better soon. What? She summoned a pixie with a crown and tiara. Death noises. A lot of death noises. So many death noises. How do you feel now? Much better. No, Grandpa, you mustn't push yourself too hard. Thank you, Mia. Oh. Thank you, Mia. I can't imagine how this village would ever manage without you. Uh-oh. Don't mention it. You should rest in bed too, ma'am. Even though there's only one bed, one single bed in here. Where are you? Can I help you? What was that? The meteors land and a, and a nuclear bomb go off? Was that the lighthouse? The lighthouse? What? Where? It can be! Only I can... Oh no! Alex! Wait, she knows Alex? Or maybe it's a different Alex? What's going on? What happened in the lighthouse of the northeast? Oh, there's the lighthouse of the northeast? I didn't even know! I feel much better now, thanks to me. I should be fine now. <laughs> he sits up just to say that. I Mia's mean, a good girl. I wish I had a daughter like her. Saying that our last apprentice, Alex, has appeared. Alex was her apprentice? Leaving her all alone. I actually didn't know that. I thought they were like, they're from, well, they're from the same clan. Mia's clan once lived here and guarded the lighthouse to the east. Now she's all alone. Poor Mia. Alright, well. Uh, let's rest at the inn, actually. That's probably a very wise thing to do. Very wise thing. 24 coins to stay. Ugh, getting pretty expensive. Although I think it actually costs the same in Billabin, if I remember correctly. That sounds the same as Billabin. We slept well, have a nice trip! It's not just that they gave like the innkeepers portraits, but it's also kind of weird that they all have the same portraits. Oh no, you see the flicking of the world map? That's why I keep having to like, that's to see how the game just froze right there. I have to set a setting that stops that from happening, like that. The only thing is it stops other animations from showing properly. Oh, actually, I think we get attacked if we do that outside. So yeah, the lighthouse is actually right here. Right on the northern edge of the world. And if you actually remember way back in Soul Sanctum, in the very top right, that's where the Mercury statue was. So it's very interesting that it correlates exactly with the lighthouse. Are. Mercury Lighthouse, here we go with the first major dungeon in the game. First, I gotta point out these statues. Uh, it's a woman with long blue hair and a dress holding a pot. Do you see that? Now, look at it in the way I used to see it, where the pot was like a weird monster face and like her left hand okay you can prominently see her right hand but you can see a little bit of her left hand there i thought maybe that was like a weird beak or like a mouth or something and that the rest of it was just like a gross configuration of like a weird monster thing but no it's, it's still totally supposed to be a beautiful woman holding a pot fountain of healing water of hermes it brings rejuvenation to all that lives interesting the fountain seems dry oh man but it pops out in your menu, meaning you can do something here. Typically, if this fountain was running, you can use this. Extracts water from a magic spring. We got this empty bottle from the old couple house, which is weird. I was just laying on there, but uh. Who's a lighter? Oh, it was Mia. Just, just, just standing there. <coughs> was the lighthouse lit? Is that what just happened? I don't know. We saw the flash of light. What happened? There's nothing up there, apparently. What a waste of time. Is anything on this side? No. No, 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 no. Somebody is here. Someone is here. Can you hear it too? 
I cannot. You can't hear it? Well, I can. Alex is the only one other than me who can enter the Mercury Lighthouse. This statue is blocking the way. Well, guess what? I have magic powers too! Did you do that? No. No, I saw it! I'm certain that flow of force came from you. You... you could see our synergy? Synergy... is that what you call that power? You had thought that you were using synergy when you healed that old man, Mia. It's a special power handed down to members of the Mercury Clan from generation to generation. It's called Ply, a power generated through meditation. That's cool. It was much, much stronger. I don't know what that means either. This Mercury clan sounds a little like the people of Vale, don't you think? Yeah, that actually sounds very similar to Vale. Sure, they're the sworn protectors of a special power, just like us. I have to go. I have to find whoever entered the lighthouse. So if you were to come here earlier, we'd see this little blue portal here. Interestingly enough, the statue would not have been in the way if we came here before we uh, saw Mia in the old couple's house. But the blue portal would have been there, and we would have been able to pass through it. Apparently we need ply to enter this lighthouse. So, um, it was interesting to me how, like, the lighthouse is in a bit of disarray. Like, we see, like, all these cave-in floors and not... Uh, that thing's weird. What is that monstrosity? And why is it wearing blue pants? Blue shorts? They can only see in a certain part of its animation. <laughs> Monster inside Mercury Lighthouse, how can this be? Oh no, I forgot to mind me the other first time. I have to get past him! <laughs> he actually gets aggro. You can just run up to him immediately and press A, but if you just run, he eventually just fights you anyway. So this is a lizard man! Um, oh, also, in Billabin Cave, I believe I forgot to mention this, but in addition to the ooze, ghoul, and maulers we could have fought, uh, you could also see drone bees, trolls, uh, rat soldiers, and gnomes in there. Um, don't know how many of those we saw, it's obviously been an episode, so I forget. Um, but now, starting Mercury Lighthouse, here's the first enemy we see. It's kind of like a mini-boss, but kind of not really. Let's try Fever, shall we? Hopefully we have enough time here. So, um, in addition, in Mercury Lighthouse here, we can see Ooze, Gnomes, Maulers, and Ghouls. Um, new enemies, the first one being Lizard Man. He's level 10, he drops 52 gold, 42 experience. He has 129 experience, which is actually my camera ready. Yep, sure does. He has a. S Sorry, I broke there. Uh, he has a 3.125% chance of dropping in nuts. He also has, uh, in addition to his normal attacking, he can use Water Blessing, which does a high attack damage as water based. <laughs> it was, Mia was the Lizard Man all along. She just runs off. Doesn't even say anything. No, not even a thank you. Thanks, asshole. He who honors the heart of the goddess shall stand at the center of all, like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. of black swan, perhaps. That's an interesting-looking lady with a giant hat. There's all these weird blocks here. There's also like these weird water. They're like lion heads. That doesn't seem very Mercury-like at all. Like water-based. What should we could do here? So yeah, this is one of the four like huge main dungeons in the game. And it's definitely worthy of being so. Path is blocked again. What am I gonna do? The statue wasn't here before. I wonder if Alex. No, Alex wouldn't do that. What if he's not alone? Also, there's no space besides beside the button. The last period that it bugs me. I hate freaking typos. Maybe I don't know. So am I the only one that sees like a weird face in that statue in the pots? Like it's like a monster facing to the right. You saved me again, haven't you? You have business in the lighthouse too? I sure do. I thought so. I'm sure that there will be more places ahead that I cannot pass alone. Only those of the Mercury Clan are permitted to enter this place. However, I sense something special about you. I feel that I could trust you. Me and join your party! Yay! Our fourth and final member to the party is awesome! And she comes with Fizz! Uh, restore HP with Calming Water. Do I have that written down here? I have it written somewhere. All of Fizz's effects. Here we go. Is it here? Uh-oh. Uh, there we go. So Fizz grants you a plus 9 uh, HP bonus. Uh, base, that is. A plus 4 PP base. And a plus 3 defense base. And 
Uh, Fizz also heals 60% of your health uh, when you use in battle. So there we go, that's actually our first Mercury Gym. And you can see his little sprite there, his little adorable Toppin' friends. So that, and uh, in addition, what does my come with? Mia. Uh, she comes on the Witch's Wand, which actually we had equipped to Ivan before, so that's very interesting that there's actually two Witch Wands in the games. Uh, Travel robe, leather gloves, wooden caps, these are all decent things. Actually, I'm pretty sure it has some better stuff than I do. Yeah, we just have a leather cap on Garrett here and probably Isaac as well, right? Yeah, she has a wooden cap, which is actually uh, a little bit better. She also comes with an herb, an elixir, and uh, an antidote. And that's it. So, like any other <laughs> game like this, uh, just another ooze and a no, we've already seen these guys. Uh, oops. I can see Mia's a battle in effect here, battles. Uh, so we don't use the Jin yet, it's because there's no point. Uh, if we go over here, we can see that she has Plot, which heals 100 HP with Faith's power. Um, we can use this outside the battle as well. It's just like Kira, except it's actually better. Um, Kira only heals 60 HP, so this is way better. She's definitely like kind of like more of a healer. Uh, she also has Cure Poison, which essentially makes um, uh, antidotes useless at this point. It only takes two synergy points as well, so it was that. Um, she has Frost, Attack with Frigid Blast, Tundra, Attack with Frigid... Oh, it has the same... Wow, no way, it has the same description. Uh, Tundra is uh, just the uh, better version of Frost, so we'll use Frost first to show it, and she also has Ice, Attack with Spikes of Ice. Let's use Frost first to show it off, and then we'll never use it again. Unless you run out of synergy and we have to resort to using it. And a dead. Where's that? Pretty sure that's the first time we see that animation. This fever, I think that's the first time we've seen that, so that has the chance of giving delusion. And they dropped an oil drop, nice. Anything in this waterfall? Nope. Oh, interesting, there's nothing in these first waterfalls, which really kind of like, chicks you out, like, oh, I guess you can never ever be anything behind waterfalls. You push this pipe, much like in the Kalima Forest there, and because it's water jets, you'd think you wouldn't be able to pass these, but you can actually go through it and it doesn't hurt. That would definitely rip your skin off if you didn't realize there's a chest up there. Wherever these peepees, spinning out PP, we are unable to get. Cannot get you. Oh, my face is so itchy, you gotta scratch it. <laughs> Must walk. Going around this room, we're just kind of like forced into a little line here. We're like, oh, we're at a dead end. What do we do? Well, this is actually the pipe we first pushed, so if you push it back, we can now get back around. The reason why I couldn't do this to begin with, is you can see there's no way to get around it, so you have to push it. So that's a poopy. Right, so I'm back this way. We get back in here. Yeah, yeah, a side crystal, which does, which is actually super helpful and a very rare item. It punishes all PP. You can never buy this in stores. Oh, I just noticed the experience put to the bomb. Mia starts with probably like three thousand experience points, which is way more than anyone else. Interesting. Well, not way more, but like a significant portion. Not these water jets are out. We can actually progress here once I find my way back around. I always get kind of lost in this room. Yeah, we ended up back to the beginning. Gosh, dang it. Might have been faster anyways though. So, yeah, oh, I guess we can just go around this way now. There we go. Hey, we haven't been here before. I don't think. <laughs> There's no enemy encounters in this room either. This is technically a puzzle room, which is very nice. Um, try going down here first. There's a ladder over there. Uh, Lizard Man. So yeah, after you fight him the first time. Oh, damn, they just start showing up. Uh, Spire. Oh, we haven't seen um, Ivan's. Uh, unleash effect yet, so we use that. We use Tundra, because we haven't shown that yet, so this is the approved. There we go, Vorpal Splash, 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 Splash. Here's Tundra, the improved version of Ice, just like an additional layer of Ice, essentially. <laughs> Nothing too special. In a day! We should probably use Fizz next time on Ivan and heal him up. Yeah, great excuse. If you saw down there, there's not a whole lot going on. There's a door. Also a block door there, if you step on the switch, it activates, yay, we can go there! Oh, dang it. Just in that, when that animation happens, it, the game stops you from moving, which I always thought was a little strange. Oh god, I hate these kind of... I hate when, when games do this, where it's like, hmm, I wonder what the solution is. It's like super obvious, so it's like, what is even the point of wasting your time like this? It's like, you know the solution, so it's like artificial lengthening, but it's like, it's so bad. This game is kind of guilty of doing that sometimes. It doesn't do it a whole lot, but I could already like think of like at least one extra example after this later in the game. One that sucks a lot to do. Oh, what do you got this time? Another gnome and the ooze. There are new enemies in here, if we could ever find them. We gotta set these 
Jin back so I can use them again. Oops. And finally, he's Earthquake. Isaac only has 37 PP. Wow, that's crazy. And Garrett only doesn't have a whole lot either. Ivan has 81, which is awesome. Alright, let's try Ice out. Ooh, where do you want to heal? Eh, let's use Ice. It'll be fine. Hopefully, hopefully these guys survive long enough to use Ice. And they don't. Fine. Find them! And they dropped an all drop. Nice, I guess. When I used to play this as a kid, I would always enjoy saving in these little sections. I don't know why, it's like, oh, where's Isaac? I can't find him. Like, it always kind of be my goal to hide their character when I save. Just in a crevice. This doesn't look suspicious at all. Whee! Once again, I should have broken my legs. He who honors the heart of the god shall stand at the center of all. Like a swan in the center of a rippling pond. I believe that's exactly what that post said. So if we run over here. I'm pretty sure this confused me as a kid too, but you know, <clears throat> there's only a few things, like there's not a whole lot to do. Obviously they put you here for a reason, so there's nothing you could possibly be missing. A little girl that uh, Mia holds her hands in front of me like that. Some people always used to tell me it was my, like I got my friend to play this game and they always say it's my, but no, if it was my it'd be M-I-A-I, not M-I-A, right? I hope so. Let's use Ply with all the fairies. And that's sacred power. Gotta heal the statue. Oh good, I thought it didn't work for a second. Oh really? I thought it would get more text there. So now you jump on these, these X-Blocks, they give you three rings above your head, and you can now walk on water! It's freaking awesome. And you see when you're on your last one, it lets you jump one more time. I don't think there's anything before this, right? I'm pretty sure there wasn't, but I just want to make sure. No, there was not. It's like the oh no. Sorry, my face is itchy. I gotta keep moving, but I can't run for a second. I'm gonna go this way first. Hey, we did it! Ooh, there we go. There's the game telling you you could go through these waterfalls. Uh, we'll get back to that chest in a moment. Give me the rings. Are we playing Sonic now? I love Sonic. And we get the synergy armor, and it goes to Garrett. Uh, this thing's pretty cool. Uh, boost PP, which is, would also be very helpful to Garrett, but we'll leave him with the uh, fur coat for now, unless there's no one else to really equip this to. Oh wow, Isaac only has 38 defense right now. Why does he have so little defense? Jeez, that's crazy. A boost synergy. How much is a boost to buy? Let's see. If we can find it. There it is. If we can find it. Um, defense plus 20, max PP plus 20. That's actually really good. If you want to drop something like this, uh, it would show up in the artifact shop uh, in, the, in the defense. So here's the ghouls we were talking about earlier. Um, we forgot to show Mia using ice, did we? So we'll do that as well. Hopefully, she'll actually get the shot to shine here. Ice only deals damage to one enemy in um, in comparison to Frost and uh, Tundra. Oh, okay, good. Which do damage to three enemies. There's ice. Great. Uh, pretty useful synergy actually when you're fighting like one enemy. Those one, those only attack one things are pretty effective against certain enemies. Um, use fizz yet, so we'll try that and heal. I have an time we fight something. Isaac, check the chest. <gasps> you might have caught me there. Like, why is he healing in front of this chest? Chen chest is really a mimic. So mimics. This is the first of many we'll see in this game. Uh, we gotta scroll back a bit on my notes here. Um, this guy, he's level 13. He drops 178 gold and 164 experience points. He also has 468 uh, hit points. So he's actually pretty strong, apparently. Uh, let's use granite, actually. I'm gonna buff myself up a bit this turn. There's Fizz on. Uh, I'm gonna see what that. And then we can also see what the first Mercury Unleash looks like. Um. What else does he have here? Uh, he has Debilitate, which uh, can affect three people and drops their, their defense by 125%? By 25% maybe? It's gotta be like 12, oh 12.5%, that's what it says, sorry. Hey, let's see a drop in there. That's Fizz right there. Fully restored Ivan's peak, or HP, which is very nice. What else could he do here? He can use the play, he can also use Psy Drain, which steals synergy. And it sucks a lot. Um, there we go. All right, now let's use the other Jin here. There you go. I can have attack turn, and we can also see the unleash of Mercury, the elemental power of Wilda. Yeah. He's water. Apparently, he's water based. Only so it's for damage. Sleep. Oh wow, really? 
Oh, there we go. Yeah, he has sleep as well. Uh, I missed his part. And he also has wind slash. Here's Mercury. Cool. I like it. I like it a lot. Water power goes up by 10. 80 damage. Wait, he's water based, but why did fire do so much? Do so much weird. I don't know. I'm scared. Oh, we haven't seen the second uh, fire unleash yet, have we? No, we didn't read that. A mystical beast cloaked in flame, Kirin. I know. Hopefully, we actually get to see it used. There's ice there. Maybe should have. This might actually kill him. Oh, good then. But Garrett's gonna attack last, so yeah, we we'll, we definitely won't be able to see this. Oh no way! Attack. Oh yeah, he's he's since he's delusion, he has a high chance of missing. Here we go. Wow, I'm very surprised we got to see this. Thought he'd be long dead by now. That's cool. I like that one. Hey, perfect. 64. Wait, was that what I said? Yes, it is. Okay. Sometimes you got a water life. Typically, mimics drop some good stuff. Not only. Sometimes they are just jeep chests. But uh, that one dropped a very nice item of water of life. On the collectibles in the game, there's only well, technically there is infinite amounts, but more rare to find. A certain monster has a very low chance of dropping them. Anyways. Yeah, screw it. Let's flee this battle. Oh, of course. Of course! I right, just see bolts. Oh, there we go. He split off into ooze 2, so you see he multiply there. If you're on this side, good. Good. Alright, we're gonna call an episode here. As you could probably imagine, we can now make progress in this room with uh, this X block here that grabs me three rings. What a weird thing to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, the best way to support me is by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next one where we continue exploring Mercury Lighthouse. See what else awaits us. See you guys next time. Bye bye!